Silas Robertson, better known as Uncle Si, has been entertaining people with his quirks and hijinks since 2012, when he was first featured on A&E's Duck Dynasty reality series. I was a player before they even invented the game, Jack. Along with his ever-present iced tea glasses, he shot to household recognition and went on to become the most popular person on the show. Uncle Si and his catchy sayings decorate many a piece of Doug Dynasty merchandise, and he's even received the coveted Chia pet treatment. However, Doug Dynasty ended in April of 2017, and Robertson retired from working at Duck Commander, the Duck Call manufacturing business featured on the show. Hey, I gotta clear my head. So where is Cy Robertson today? And what keeps him entertained ever since he left the immediate national spotlight? As it turns out, Uncle Cy is a jack of all trades when it comes to hobbies. He's tried his hand at writing, music making, and of course, viral video analysis, which he conducted alongside his nephew, Willie Robertson, on his short-lived spin-off series, Going cy Rao, that wrapped shortly before Duck Dynasty did. Virtually, the moment the show ended, Robertson released a book in May 2017, entitled Sirenity, How I Stay Calm and Keep the Faith. The book is something of a behind-the-scenes-slash-memoir that looks back at his entire life, including his time spent on the A&E reality show. But this was actually Robertson's fourth published book. It came after Psychology 1, Tales and Wisdom from Duck Dynasty's Favorite Uncle, and two children's books, Uncle Cy and the Christmas Elf and Everything's Better with a Beard, which features the entire Robertson clan. Since then, Uncle Cy has decided to lean full tilt into a music career by founding his own country music group, Uncle Cy and the Psychotics. The band consists of Robertson, his daughter-in-law Mark, Marsha Robertson, and celebrated singer-songwriter Bridget Tatum. They recorded a single called A Scene on TV in 2017, and subsequently released a self-titled EP. Before the end of Duck Dynasty, and at what was arguably the apex of his mainstream fame, Robertson expanded his reach on the small screen by appearing on the television series Last Man Standing, playing a character called Uncle Ray opposite Tim Allen in the 2013 episode Back to School. He also dabbled in feature films, landing a small part in the 2015 Christian religion film Faith of our fathers. Hey, this stuff is so good you'll punch your mama. He also lent his voice to narrate Veggie Tales, Merry Larry, and the True Light of Christmas. However, the bite of the acting bug didn't have long lasting effects. Robertson hasn't stepped in front of the camera since Duck Dynasty ended in 2017, and it seems that won't change anytime soon, as his focus is on Uncle Cy and the Psychotics. Robertson explained in a May 2018 interview with Pop Culture that he had grown accustomed to a certain way of life during the heyday of Doug Dynasty. But he isn't about to let a lack of riches keep him from a career in music, something he had previously attempted in 2014 with the release of his EP, Me and My Smoking Hot Honey. He explained, I got to start making me some money somewhere, but I chose the wrong industry to really make a lot of money. I think there's a lot of goals that we want to meet as a band. I would love to see that we finish this record out, because I would love to see what we could write beyond what we've got. I think everybody believes it to be just this funny thing, and there's a lot of that on there. But there's also some moments that happen on there that are really important, and I would just love to be able to have the opportunity that we can all write together some more and see how deep we can go. Finishing a full-length album is the band's current priority, as Uncle Cy and the Psychotics are no longer acting actively touring the country. If you want to keep tabs on them, they regularly post videos on their Facebook page. Even though Duck Dynasty is over, Cy Robertson's life clearly hasn't stopped for a second. When I say that you know what hit him, hey, that's because it was me that hit him. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.